Let's do a little music concrete with the tape and microsound music machine. Here I have the Zoom H1, which is one of the least expensive field recorders you can buy. And I'm going to use this TRS to dual TS splitter cable to take the stereo line output of the H1 and send it to patch cables that'll go into the Morphogene. Instead of recording into the Zoom, I'm just gonna use its microphone and line outputs to send it to the Morphogene, and then we'll use the Morphogene to actually record. Uh, this field recorder is not the highest fidelity field recorder, and we're not in a treated room either. We're not really looking for fidelity here. We're more looking for to explore the sounds that we find, including whatever background sounds we might pick up at the time. We're really looking to find the unfound sounds. To start, we're patching the outputs of the Morphogene directly to an XO channel. SOS is fully counterclockwise to monitor the input. To record a new splice, we hold record and press splice. Let's record a few. We'll just use sounds of things I found around the shop. Cellophane. Rubber toy. Tape. Scissors. Hammer. Flame. Okay, let's turn SOS clockwise so we can hear what we have captured. We can select which splice we're hearing by turning the organized knob. By default, it waits for the current playback gene or splice to finish playing before switching to the new splice. We can also use the vary speed knob to change the speed and direction of playback. Gene size zooms in on a smaller and smaller piece or gene of the splice. Slide determines from where in the splice that gene will begin. Let's patch through the QPOS and Mimeophone for processing. Morphogene outputs into QPOS and we'll use the bandpass outputs, which carve away all of the sound except for whatever is in a particular frequency range set by the frequency control. And we'll patch through the mimeophone and onto the XO. Right now I have the mimeophone fully dry, so we're not hearing repeats. We can use the Q and radiate parameters to add resonance to the sound and change the relationships between the four filters of the QPOS in the stereo field. For any of these parameters, we can modulate by hand, of course, but we also have maths and Wogglebug available to modulate automatically. Let's start a maths channel cycling and use it to modulate the QPOS. And let's use the end of gene trigger to clock the woggle bug, creating random voltages we can use to modulate the morphogene and the mimeophone.
This is just a starter patch. If you have ideas for other things to record into the Tape and Microsound Music Machine, please let us know in the comments. Feel free to link to videos or recordings that you've made as well. We'd love to hear them.